Good afternoon, grade 11. How are you today? Today, inshallah, we will talk about <coughs> vocabulary, parts of a newspaper. Parts of a newspaper. This is found in your student book, page <coughs> 66. Uh, what do we have to do in this part of today's lesson is to look at some words here inside a box. Uh, these uh, parts or these words are related to parts of a newspaper. Hadola words are related to parts of a newspaper. Okay. <clears throat> what do we have to do is to put a newspaper in front of you if you have one and try to match the words with uh, the parts of uh, this newspaper. Now, the first word here is an article. Article. What is the meaning of article? Article is a writing about a specific topic or a specific subject. For example, if you go to the second page, here 67, you're going to see an article here in front of you. And it's a writing and it discusses certain topic. What the, What is the topic of this article? Is 50 things to do before you are 12. So the main uh, ideas in this topic is um, to talk about your childhood, your life as a child. So this is an article. Okay. We also have byline. Byline. What is the meaning of byline? Byline is a line uh, at the beginning of an article and it gives or it has the name of the writer. So in the by, in the byline you are going to be interest, introduced to the name of the writer. The name of the writer who actually wrote the um the article. Here, look at the first line. Here is the first line and it has the name of uh, Emily Johnson. Emily Johnson. Emily Johnson is basically the writer of this article. And this is called byline. Byline because موجود في the name of the writer. Byline. Okay. We also have caption. What is the meaning of caption? Caption simply is when you uh, take a photo and you write something underneath it. So caption, words, or description of a picture. Description of a picture. Words printed above or below a picture. Caption, words printed above or below a picture. يعني if you look at this picture here. طبعا كل article, not all articles basically contain uh, pictures. But in this article we have a picture. And what is written underneath it or below the picture? A, um, a sentence, okay? Or some words. Such as children playing hide and seek. Okay, so the title or this sentence indicates... This sentence indicates what is going on in this picture. So we call this caption. Caption. Okay. The words or the sentences or the statements. Sometimes they may be questions. Where do we find them? We find them underneath a picture, below a picture. And this is found in an article. So we call this caption. It gives you explanation, indication um, for the picture. Okay, we have something called headline. Headline, headline, head, main, main line or main story. Which means the title of the article. The title, the title. And here, what is the headline of this article? 50 things to do before you are 12. So this is the headline. This is the head line, had a byline, and this is the caption, and this is an article. So the headline mainly is the title of an article, the title. Okay, we have something called lead story. 
lead story. Okay, which means the most important news in a newspaper, the most important news. And in most cases, uh, these news are found in the main page or in the first page of the newspaper. In the first page of the newspaper. Yani, for example, if you look at this picture here, okay, this is a picture of a newspaper, okay. And for example, UK reviews open markets. This is headline, right? It's the title of the topic. And in also we call it lead story, which means you are talking about the most important news in the newspaper. Okay, this one is 